guys, it's Lena. So today I'm gonna be doing an anime room tour and I haven't done one in this apartment yet so I'm super excited to be able to make another room tour and um, I'm saying anime room tour but it's actually like a apartment tour because I have a lot of figures in the living room and in the kitchen as well and um, I've been doing a lot of rearranging recently and it was really fun so I hope you guys have fun watching so let's get started all right guys so let's start off with this rack this is usually where I film and I like it a lot so here's a small section of Gotobu no Hanayome, quintessential quintuplets. And this picture frame here is from Ichiban Kuji. And these acrylics that look really nice are from this Kuji called Hiko Kuji. I got these sitting figures, um, but I'm still missing Itsuki. So I gotta find her. And I'm super excited to see the new um, date figure that's coming out next year. So right next to the Gotobu no Hanayome is my idol master section and the three figures in the front are crane figures and these three this one this one and this one are um, based off the art on the blu-ray covers and the back is um mickey wearing like a racing outfit super cute and i have a lot of asuna from sword art online and um this one is the only prize figure but i think it's super cute how there's a sandwich box and she's waiting for kirito on the stairs and one acrylic of yuki So cute. Here is my Furiren box that I got recently and I haven't decided what to put in there yet. So this box is really nice. There's, there's a lot of space. It's pretty big. And now let's open the Furiren one. I love this one. Look! It's the fake treasure chest. That's so funny. Here's my Jesus Kaisen section, and these are all figures from Kotobukiya. And I just recently got Nanami. Uh, the second season is really good. And here's Sento Isuzu from Amagi Brilliant Park. And this anime is so cute and fun. Um, the figure in the front is from Stronger, and the figure in the back is from Kotobukiya. And right next to it is one of my sections for Card Cather Sakura. And the Nendroids are from Gusmal Company and the two figures in the back are from Kotobukiya and that's my first ever Sakura figure. I love how the skirt is so fluffy and the way the wings spread. And this is the only Shaoran figure and it looks so good. I wish they make more. This is a Papa Parade L of Guts from Berserk and oh my gosh, this figure looks so amazing. I highly recommend it. Here's a section of anime girls from different series, but for some reason, I just really like the way they look together. They look so happy. And um, the Mirima is actually a crane prize, but it looks so good. <laughs> I love it. And that is a piggy bank of Bimuru, and I put my 500 yen coins in there. And here we have Kizuna Ai from The Small Company. And I thought this figure is really cute. I love how she's holding her ribbon. Here's Hodo from Q's Q and Wedding 02 from Good Small Company. And is it just me or their pose is really similar? They're both very beautiful. Here's Inuyasha and Seishomaru from Hobby Max. And oh my gosh, I can't tell you how much I love them. They look so cool. I have a little spy family section here and a lot of Anyas. This Anya and this Anya are from Ichiban Kuji's and I love how playful it looks. And this one's the one that I opened recently. It's from Fenex. And the little Anya in the back is so cute. She just woke up. <laughs> so cute. And yeah, I can't forget that face. And I have a Yu Yu Hakusho section and look at these plushies. They're really cute. Here are my Yu Yu Hakusho figures, and the guys standing are all from Kotobukiya and Genkai and Hiei sitting, and Kurama and Yoko are all from Union Creative. And I got this logo from a crane catcher, and I thought it looks really nice with the figures. And this is a Dark Magician Girl from Kotobukiya. 
And I got this Kunibo from NH Bankuji. So adorable. Here is Gojo Sensei from East Dream. And oh my gosh, he looks so cool. Love the pose. And we have Okkotsu Yuta and Rika chan from East Dream as well. And I love how both of the figures are based off the manga covers. I love the figures and the base concept. Here is Gojo Sensei and Okkotsu Yuta from Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. And these are Ichiban Kuji figures and I got them for 5 poles. They don't look as good but for 5 poles it's not bad. Here's my Guren Lagan section and I got 3 really nice Yoko figures and a really cool figure of Kamina. Here is Ed and Al from Full Metal Alchemist. And the Ed is from Kotobukiya and the Al is from uh, Good Smile Company and it's a pop up parade, but they look pretty good together. Here's another Card Cafe Sakura section and I tried to make it look like a boutique. The clothing are so cute, they're from Gashapons. And the two Sakuras on the side are Kupos skits and the small Sakuras are also Gashapons. Here is Makise Kurisu from Steins Gate. And man, they both look so cool with all the gears flying around. I love it. Here's Yukino Shita Yukino. And I actually made like a little section for Japanese style clothing. So I have um, Saber and Miki wearing yukatas. And a Ichiban Kuji Nami figure. And Takane from Idol Master. And a Chizuru from um, Rent a Girlfriend. And I really wanted a Utahime figure and I got a prize figure of her but it was really small so I just decided to put her here. Here are figures holding swords and we have Kenshin, Saber, and Rimuru. And Rimuru is actually a crane figure. They look so good together. And we got a little bit more Sakura here and the Sakura in the front is like a really old school um, garage kit I think. And I got it for 500 yen at Surugaya. So crazy. And here are Nakayoshis of Sakura. And ever since the clear card arc has been serialized, I decided to keep all the Nakayoshis with Sakura on the cover. And now it's done. And here is the last book. I still haven't read it yet, but I feel like I can because this will be such a waste. What a beautiful cover. And next to the rack is a spinning shelf. And I put some nice art and albums that I like. I got some movies and some figures. And some more art books and art. And Some more anime, games, and some mangas here. And right here I got my TV stand and I got some acrylics and gacha gachas on top of it. And here's Ushio and Yukino Shayukino. And Okkotsu and Nika-chan. Kojo sensei when he was in high school with my common writers. And Adia from Cultic 9 and I thought Simba looks really good with her so I just put Simba on, on her chair. And Rare Earth Girls and Yuko from Holic. And I got some more acrylic stands here. And my PS5. And Sonico Chillin. I like this figure, it's really cute. And here is my Edisa Pop-Up Parade XL. Nazuna-chan from Call of the Night. She's super cute. And my Tom and Jerry figure. And right next to it, I have a Madoka record player. And under that, I just recently did a Oshinoko Taito Kuji and got the Kana A Prize. So we have some Oshinoko um, art and eye. And then we have Girls from Space. We got Zero Two 
and Smoogie and Adios. And right under that, we have a little section for ReZero. These are prize figures. Yeah, and I keep cards in these boxes. And here's my card, Keter Sakura glass case. It's pretty much the same as last time, except my mom put some flowers and made it look really nice. Yeah, she put those leaves and flowers. So cute. And some more plates down here. All right, and right here, I have a table. This is a table that I unbox on. I also eat here, I study here, I watch anime here. I pretty much live at this table. And here's my Heaven Burns Red phone stand. And I got a slime here to keep me company. And a Tonikaku Kawaii box to put some stuff in. And here's my Evangelion scissor and some pens. And this Jolene is really cool. It's actually a pen. Pretty cool. And here's my couch, and here's Kirby, uh, a prize each Bankuji, sitting on the couch with me, and a giant Sakura plushie. And I got some more figures in the back right here, and some art up here. And oh, I also have some plushies up there on top of the curtain rail. And they're not gonna fall because I tied them, and I thought it looks really nice there. Sometimes I move the couch and I film here, and. I have an Inuyasha and Yashahime section right here and they're all pop-up parades except for the Inuyasha on top of the books he's a noodle topper and right next to it is my Gintama section and I really like that Ginsan and Kinsan figure it's really unique and all the girls and Soko in the back are gems from Mega House and right next to that I have another Gintama section and oh my gosh, I thought they so cute and I really like that Ginsa on the back holding a Sadaharu con candy and I love that Kagura-chan eating skombu that smile is everything So right on top, I put the Okkotsukun and Nika-chan figure because it's so big and heavy and I wanted to put it on a lower table and I have a lot of Sakura figures here and I thought it would be okay because Okkotsukun and Yue share the same voice actor so here is one of the older sakura figures this is a plum figure and we got this sakura from the smell company and some cute poskets really cute and this star special figure also from the smell company and this platinum star from kotobukiya and here are some androids and this really cute figure from Wings. And on top here, we have the Nana figure. Absolutely stunning. And here is the Pinky Promise Sakura figure. And some acrylics from Heaven Burns Red. And the two bunnies, Makisa Kurisu and Zero Two here. And I have a clear case here where I put small little Sakura figures. And here is the bedside plushie of Sakura-chan. So right here, I have a little key section. Um, there's Angel Beats, Heaven Burns Red, Rewrite, Granado, Charlotte, and Kami-sama ni Natahi. And um, for these um, Granado figures, I bought it unused, but I think it's like a really old figure and when I opened it, it was really sticky um, and I kind of want to learn how to clean it so if anyone knows how to clean it, please let me know and we got some little busters right here and here's Ding-chan and Komari and this Spirited Away bonsai garden is so cool when I make a sound, it starts moving so cool So here is a Totoro jigsaw puzzle and I have Amaterasu here and this is like a little jewelry box Put some stuff in there And I thought Kino looked really good in this area so here she is And right under we have a small Sailor Moon section 
I love this figure. It's an A prize from Ichiban Kushi. And I got some jewelries right next to the Sailor Moon section. And a really small Dr. Stone section right here. And right underneath, I got an Isekai section. Um, besides Hodo, but she matched, so I put her here. And some more art books right here. And right before we go to the next area, we got Godzilla greeting us. So cute. And right over here, we have Snoopy and Pochita. And in this area, I have a sound box, and this is where I do some sound related things. Um, it's the same layout as last time, so yeah, nothing changed since the last room tour and I got some more figures in the back right there so right here in these boxes I have a lot of car character sakura merch and if you know me I love car character sakura and I collect a lot of sakura stuff so I think it'd be cool if one day I can make a video and we can kind of see and count what I have here yeah and let's go look at the figures right here all right so sometimes I film here so maybe you know this backdrop uh, and there's some more anime merch inside the red drawer so let's start from the top. Alright, so let's start from the top. You have some Tokyo Avengers boys and a Nika chan popcorn holder with an Okutsuku. Yeah, and right underneath, we got some girls chilling. And underneath that is Psycho Pass. And there's a Dominator in the back. And under that is Motoko from Ghost in the Shell. She looks really badass. And here is my Jojo section. And most of these are Ichiban Kujis. I need some more space for them. And underneath Jojo, I have some Asuna prizes and Ichiban Kujis. And I have more Asuna and Yukis. These are also a lot of prizes and Ichiban Kujis. And uh, more Eseos. <laughs> um, yeah, I have, well, I have a lot of Eseo figures. They're all prizes and Ichiban Kujis. Of that, I have some Yu Hakusho and Hunter x Hunter, and the Yu Hakushos are the one I got at Nakano Broadway. And here's the My Senpai that I opened in my last video. I love this figure. And right above that, I have some Dragon Ball stuff. These are Master Lies, Chibon Kujis, and some other prizes. And this is like a really random space that I made, mostly Dragon Ball, but I have Slayers and Gintama because they look like they're doing a Kamehameha. And Shenlong was too tall, so I put him here. And I put a small Gohan on him, looks cute. And here's 17 and 18. And here is the Jus Kaisen Sega Lucky Kuji Prize figures. Man, I love it. And here is Fujiwara no Sai from Garden of Gold. He is beautiful. And here is my Kimetsu no Yaiba section. We got some Ichiban Kujis and some Kotobukiyas. And right next to that is my Evangelion section. And this Asuka and this Shita is a Ichiban Kuji prize. And this Asuka is from Evolve. And this Lei is from Mega House. And this Misato is from Union Creative, and Shinji and Kaoru are from Freeing, and have a cute posque. And the three figures that I got here are from Gashapon. And right underneath are Bikini Girls, and they look so cute. And right next to that is my V Zero section, and these are Ichiban Kuji prizes. And I just love the bust so much. I love how the eyes follow you. And here is my Bokoboy section. We have Miku and Luka, and the picture frame Miku in the back. It's beautiful. And here is a Boku no Hero Academia section. And these two are Kotobukiyas, and the figures in the back are Ichiban Kuchis and Cranes. And right underneath is a Hunter x Hunter section and the big figures are all Ichiban Kujis. I really like this Gon figure and um, this logo is also um, the same as the Yu Hakusho logo. I got it from a crane catcher 
and right next to it is a small section of Hell's Paradise and these are crane prizes they look pretty good and I also have another Vocaloid section I think the makeup in the back is really old and these are all prizes and I have a remint right there super cute and this box actually has a theme they are all high school students so we have Amano Erika in the front with bread and we have Chitoge and Zero Two and Mikoto and Yukino Seikino and I didn't know where to put the high school Gojo Sensei so I just put him there and now it kind of looks like a funny rom-com and here is my Gundam C corner we have Kira, Laksu, and Asuran, and Izaku, and Kagari and I'm super excited to watch the new movie and right next to the Gundam Sea corner is another Evangelion section and we have some prizes and some Ichiban Kujis and a pop-up parade and I have some card cap Sakura books in here and a Sakura figure and I have a cold Gias section and the two figures on the left side are Ichiban Kujis and I forgot where the Biretta was from and the C2 is a gem figure and right next door we have a Taito Kuji fairy tale figure with some manga in the back and down here I have some random cranes of summertime rendering and Madoka and Yurukan and I got some files for postcards and shikishis and a figure of Umamusume, Silent Shizuka and back to this brown shelf I have some leech figures and also some noodle topper of Hunter x Hunter they look really good and I have a box for Gash Bell they're all gems, it's really nice and I have an Attack on Titan section and Levi in the back is a crane and it's funny how he's the tallest one here and the Eren and Arumin are brave axe and the Mikasa is a Ichiban Koji, like a really old Ichiban Koji I definitely want more Attack on Titan figures and right under, I got some jump magazines and some jump characters to go along with it and in this last box, we have some Danganronpa and Akudama Drive figures and I really love this Kirigiri Kyoko and Nagito figure, it's so, it's so neat so this is actually supposed to be a bedroom but I wanted to display more figures so when I go to sleep, I just lay my futon mattress here and I just close the door like this and go to sleep Alright, so I have a little bit more figures inside the kitchen so let's go check it out So here's the kitchen area And I put all my magnets on my fridge And I got this rack and I didn't know what to do with the top part because it's such a small area And I decided to put my noodle toppers and they look perfect And I love the Kimetsu no Yaiba ones because they're all holding onigiris And right down here I have a sakura teapot a Megumi noodle topper and they holding a radish Kongo holding a ladle and another Kongo drinking tea I love that Rengoku figure holding two onigiris and the Itadori Yuji one is really nice he's eating ramen and here is the cornflakes you guys remember <laughs> and I put some remens here and the Kirby hamburger Alright guys, so that was my anime figure room tour or apartment tour and I had so much fun rearranging and filming I hope you guys enjoyed it too Let me know what your favorite figure or merch was Yeah, so I feel like this year went by really fast but I feel like it was a great year thanks to all of you guys and um, I really do enjoy sharing my interests and hobbies with everyone so I'm really happy that you guys enjoy my videos and it's crazy because uh, this channel, we're almost at 20k It's Really, really crazy for me. Thank you guys so much for always watching and supporting and um, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!